Hi, this is Lisa Johnson, and welcome to Make It Monday. Today I'm going to share with you a technique that I've been using called Frosted Images. I've really enjoyed playing with um, ink and the ability that it has to kind of alter the different shades that you can mix together. So today I'm going to share with you a card using Wildflower Garden to show how I go about frosting my images. See, it looks like I'm walking through a, f a foggy forest. I love that. That's one of my favorite things to actually do. So I'm just going to show you the technique at first. I'm going to stamp this flower from Wildflower Garden first in dark chocolate and then quickly stamp it off on paper, not clean my stamp, and then go ahead and use the fresh snow ink right over it. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to use my finger now to just smear everything and rub it in together. And the reason why I wanted to go fast like that is because I want some of that ink that hasn't dried already or soaked into the paper to show up as I, as I go ahead and smear. And what that does is gives me that foggy effect. You can use this with all sorts of colors. Uh, darker on the bottom with that white pigment on the top just makes it look so nice and cloudy. Here's the another image from that set. And I'm stamping this one in Smoky Shadow. And again with the pigment ink. Fresh snow right over it. Now if you don't want it to look so foggy you can let it sit for a little bit longer and you'll just have a slight fog effect or frosted effect. It's not going to look wet, just softer and have a little shadow kind of surrounding it. There you go. So here's a piece of card, uh, here's a card stock base that I've actually went ahead and pre-applied with the scoring and the um, rounded corners. And we'll go ahead and start stamping the pattern from the card that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Starting out with the small flower using that dark chocolate ink. And I tend to try to go fast when I'm doing this to try to make sure I'm getting that ink before it soaks completely into the cardstock. There we go. And one last time. Now I'll just work it in. Now if you're uncomfortable using your fingers, I'm sure you could try a sponge dauber or something. I just actually prefer the control that I get when I use my fingers, so that's what I use. I found that as I'm using this technique, it works best on um, neutral cardstock like Kraft or, um, let's see, fine linen. Works really well with fine linen. Even the pink shades the lighter pink or the lighter blues just needs to be a little bit different than the ink that you're using. Alright, we're going to go ahead and move on to our smoky shadow. This other f foliage image. Yep, I like to go fast on this, like I said. Now after I'm done stamping this, I'm I'm going to really work in the images throughout the whole card. I mean, everything isn't totally dried yet, so I'll work in the ink pretty pretty strongly with this. It's really fun to experiment. I was experimenting with um, pure poppy and it looks really pretty with this white ink over it on a, a sweet blush cardstock. There's all sorts of great combinations that you can do. But I really want to make sure that I work it in. I'm going over the smoky shadow foliage a little bit more because I want a little bit of the color show through. There you go. See how it looks foggy like I've walked through the forest and it's got that nice beautiful fog. Next I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Thank You Sentiment from Think Big Favorites 3 as well as the For All You Do Sentiment from AdSense. I love being able to do those font combinations, those different uh, sentiments together. 
I just went ahead and stamped it right in that gutter that I created with this score pal. And now the little tiny sentiment underneath the big U. Final touches with a few crystals just to give a little bit extra shine and balance. It actually kind of ties in that base cardstock having that lighter color available, which is great. And there you have it, a thank you card ready to go. Nice one layer and it's a, it's a fun technique, it's fun to play with. And I hope you've enjoyed today's Make It Monday. I look forward to seeing what you've created with Frosted Images.